Hello guys. Things have, um, I'd say, improved since I last showed this to you guys. I now have randomly generating maps and whatnot. And I just realized that this is kind of hard to control while I'm recording because I kind of want to use the mouse to point to stuff. So yeah, it now creates random maps, which I really like how they turned out. Because basically, as you can see, it creates like different rooms and stuff, and though this actually, this actually sprang from a problem I had, it overlaps rooms. It has a problem with that, and originally I didn't want this because I kind of wanted all the rooms to be these individual squares, but I've honestly grown to like the um, odd shapes of the rooms. This actually originally sprung from a um, failed attempt at map generation towards the beginning that would um, had a very low chance of connecting the rooms. I kind of just added a thing onto it to um, connect those rooms. I'm just going to quickly go into debug mode. And though you cannot really tell, or well, maybe you can, I can't really tell myself, but um, see all these like fours right here? That is one room. Basically, all the stuff that has numbers is what the old generator would have generated. Okay, so this counts as a room by the by um the new generator. This is a room. This is a room. And then basically, see these like lighter zeros? They actually are connecting the um rooms. So basically, what it does is it will go in um randomly pick a room, say six, and then it'll say, okay, I want to go and connect it to another room. Then it will randomly pick another room, say. Two. Then it will basically go and pick a point within each of these rooms that they will aim for. And it looks like in this case it actually was just on the um, same line, which is kind of cool. I'm going to have to um, work on the placement of my character here. So yeah, that's how that kind of works. And out of debug mode. Now I'm going to go and wait for a better example before I show off something else. So... Um, I want to create like a little spot there. But, um, well, the little green spot that's up here is a um, thing I'm going to be I'm adding and really haven't perfected at all yet. It's kind of something I just threw together that I call fungus. Now it doesn't really do anything, and it might never do so anything other than be ex be aesthetic, and it probably won't end up green. But right now it's just this green growth that grows around it. Actually, um, holy crap! I just realized it's a cool room. This is two rooms. I kind of like being able to look at that because, like, I have this huge room right here that it generates, and this huge room here. That's what I like about the um generator. Now, I might find these rooms to be completely impractical later when I want to add certain things, but right now I like them just because they're cool. And we continue. Yeah, see, there's more of the stuff. It actually gets on the walls. I I don't think it's ever um gotten the one thing that I like yet. Let me go and um go up to the um next the floor above. The floors yeah it hasn't generated any of them. Um it also generates like these fungal trees which they don't block your path. There you go right here. And what they do is they um reset the um spread. So say it would normally spread to say just around here. And then it creates a fungal tree, and then the fungal tree goes and resets the spread. Actually, that fungal tree right there probably wouldn't cause anything. But I'm actually what I'm guessing. Is, um, what I'm guessing is that um, this thing when maybe it was like down here or something had the fungal trees expanded it more, had one grow right here and continue. And notice that they don't go diagonal. Which I might change, might not. I kind of like them not going diagonal to a certain degree, but yeah, I'll go and look at it the other way. So, yeah. Now, what I might do is I might make it to where it also changes the max size, but I don't want it to um, reduce the um, size of what the spread could have been. I really love these rooms, they just look cool to me. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe I'll make it to where they're. Um, that certain enemies while in it maybe heal or stronger or different enemies might spawn in here. 
Now, next thing I'm working on, guys, visibility. I'm gonna make it to where you can, um, you know, only see in a certain radius around you. Now, I would like it to where stuff's like blocked off, like, say I'm here, you know, I'll be able to see like all around here, but I won't really be able to see here at all. But probably for the first versions of it, it's going to just be the one. I kind of want to see how far this will go down. I'm going debug mode. No clip. I have a lot of plans for this thing, and if you've noticed, it only generates one fungal growth right now. I haven't really made it do any random stuff with that, other than you know just. The okay, I've concluded that there is a point where it crashes. I don't know, I don't think you notice this, but nothing's happening. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on, um, saving at some point, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, that's it for now. I'll be giving you guys more updates as development continues, and I will at some point try to start a Let's Play.